Filled with impressions from her first day in school, Lisa braces herself and walks up to Jorvik Stables. The memory of horseback riding as a kid feels vague compared to the memory of falling down, injuring herself. She takes a deep inhale and heads for the stables to return Linda's keys. <gasps> ah! I'm gonna actually scream! Oh my god! I can't believe we're here. I can't- Oh my god. I- We're literally- in Jorvik. Okay, so this is Jorvik Stables. What a place. Well, I have to find Linda, who really helped me out earlier today to return her keys. I love the purple mist. This guy's, this guy's painted. Oh. It's like a dream! I used to have dreams about being in Jorvik. I miss that now. I love Jorvik! Is this kind of- this kind of looks like the Jorvik Stables we have now. Just a little bit. Yeah. It really does. It does! Whoa, it really does. Anne is such a hot girl. Like, she's just... I know she gives that rich, mean girl vibe, but, like, she also gives that vibe of being, like, a really nice person. I don't know. Very, like... I don't know. I just love her. Oh my god, Concord's right here! I didn't even realize. Hi, Concord. Haven't seen you in a long time because you got reincarnated into a foal. Spoilers. <laughs> I, I don't know where Linda is. I guess we'll just talk to Anne. Hey, Queen. Oh, there you are. I had no idea you were interested in riding, too. This is my horse, Concord, the finest stallion on the lot. By the way, were you all flirty with Josh? No, not really. By the way, have you seen Linda? <laughs> Lisa does not care. I think I saw Linda a little while ago. Have you tried the stables? Whee! Oh, there's Sabine. Looks nothing like the new Sabine. Khan is the fastest horse around, and I demand to be listed as a top rider for the upcoming competition. What are you doing here? The Yorvik Stables has over a year's Waiting list, so you can't just forget about riding here with us. Oh, she says, you can forget about riding here with us. She don't want us to sit with her. Sabine is right. The school is full, unfortunately. I would love to make room for you, but right now it's not possible. Oh. Okay. No fair. Maybe I'm supposed to walk up the stairs. Did I talk to everyone yet? I'll talk to Josh. Hey, Lisa, nice to see you here. I'm helping Mr. Herman for some extra money. Oh, that's all I have to say? Okay, fine. I really have to get into the stable, and I have no clue how to get in. Unless I walk up the stairs, do they work? I can't go in. What do I- what am I missing? Can I talk to her at all? Oh, yeah, I can talk to her. Hey, Lisa, how did everything work out for you today? Everything came out okay in the end. Thanks for the help. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this thing working again so the horses can get some food, but no one around here knows how to get a simple engine running. I'd love to chat with you, but I need to get this thing working before the day is over. This place is a little crazy because of the upcoming competition. Oh, that's not any help. That wasn't helpful. Please, I want to go into the stable. Please have a look around the stables and make yourself at home. If you're if you're looking for Linda, you might want to try the stable. She helps in there. Little Red Riding Hood, don't get so in Khan's way and my way. Oh wait, is she gonna leave now? Can I go in? <gasps> Did it. Oh, this looks so Starshine. Whoa, I love this. This is really nice. Okay. Hi. This is truly tragic. Such a fine horse, but something isn't right with him. Do you hear that sound? What is that? 
What's wrong with him? His name is Starshine. He has the potential to be the fastest horse in Yorvik, but he seems to have lost his willpower. He won't eat, drink, or let anyone near him. It's really too bad. I think we might have to put him down. Girl, you better not. Can I talk to him? The horse talks! Who are you? Who, who said that? Hello? Come closer to the box. I'm here in the dark. Starshine! But how can I hear you? In my head. I don't know. But I understand you, too. Scary stuff. Please help me. Something is destroying me from the inside. A dark power, but I don't know what it is. I'm sure I could get back in the ring if someone like you would help me. What is this? How can I understand what this horse named Starshine wants? I must help him. I need to talk to Mr. Herman now. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This game- <gasps> Who's that? Is that- Oh my god, it's Linda. Hi, Linda. Hey, Lisa. Nice to see you here. I don't- I didn't know you were interested in riding. Actually, I came here to return your keys. Thank you so much for helping me out today, but I think that Sabine has a grudge against you. Yeah, I don't know what her problem is. I'm half suspecting that she stole my keys and planted her phone in my locker to get me in trouble. I don't know her, but it wouldn't be surprising. Hey, listen, I need to get Starshan into the ring to prove his worth, or he might be put down. The problem is that I haven't been riding in years and don't know if I could still do it. Don't worry, Lisa. Believe in yourself and it'll work out fine. Are those bugs? I think there's bugs. Whoa. We don't have that in New Star Stable. It's the little details that really get me going, you know? Herman. What can I do for you? I'm asking you to give Starshine and me a chance. Everyone here thinks he's no good, but I'm sure I could show them that he's as good as anyone. Something tells me you actually could pull this off. Lisa, is it? I'm sure we could find you some riding gear and get Starshine out in the smaller paddock. Eee! Whoa! Okay! Well, we got Starshine ready for you. If you can make him come around, I promise you a spot in the riding school and a good future for Starshine. That's a lot to put on a teenager. That's a lot of pressure. You're going to fail big time. Ignore her, Lisa. Just take it easy and everything will be fine. Don't let Sabine get away with that. Oh, Starshine, something bad must have happened to you. I'll try to make it better. For some strange reason, I feel connected with you even though I can't hear you anymore. Maybe I just imagined your voice. <gasps> it's Mr. Sands. He's so creepy. The dark presence feels stronger now. You must help me. Strange. It started when that creepy guy appeared. Poor horse. Starshine seems to be very nervous. Lisa, before mounting him, you have to calm him down. I don't think you know how to take care of a horse. Anne says, don't listen to her, Lisa. Just stay close to, Star to Starshine and pat him. Aww. I'm so sorry if you could hear a vacuum. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's so precious. I love him. That is excellent, Lisa. Maybe there's a normal horse in there just waiting to get out. Try to get on and see if you could take him for a couple rounds in the paddock. You lucky city girl. I'm sure you'll hit the ground faster than I could say. Shut up! <gasps> she said white trash princess. Whoa, that's rude. I thought I was the- Oh my god! Bro, this drama. I wish we had drama like this in the actual game now. Just ignore her. Please, Starshine, for both of our sake, don't freak out on me. I'll try not to, but keep that man away from me. It's like I can't see properly. Oh, God. Okay. Let's try to not get kicked off the horse. Okay, we're on. Control Starshine by using the controls. Okay. Ah! <gasps> I love his animations. Whoa, I love this. His back's a little too long, though. Whoa, I love this. I love this so much. 
Star Stable, come on. Go back to your roots. This is so good. It's the music for me, too. It's just so nice. Mr. Sands is so creepy. Go away. <gasps> Very nice. Now dismount and come over here so we could talk. To dismount, Starshine, press the right mouse button. Oh, okay. There we go. That was easy. That was indeed impressive, Lisa. I think you and Starshine have taught us all a lesson. I think it might be a good idea to take Starshine into the big paddock to see what he can really do. Well, trotting around is one thing, but we we're walking, actually, Sabine. But that wreck of a horse is nothing compared to Khan. Shut up. Let's take it easy, Starshine, and I'm sure this will work out fine for us. It's strange. I've been afraid of riding ever since I was ten, but I don't feel that with you. Hey, Lisa, I have to leave for the library. I'll call you later. Does she even have my number? Good luck in the large paddock. Okay, this is the lar- Why are Sabine and Mr. Sands just standing there? Go away! This paddock's huge. This is where the competitions are held. I'm telling you, the closest you'll come to the competition is as a spectator, so don't even dream about it. Remember, you have to make Starshine gallop before you jump over the bar hurdles. If not in gallop, he'll refuse to jump over. Go, Lisa! Okay. Increase Starshine's speed by pressing W multiple times. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna go around a few times like that. I have to get used to these controls. I'm not really good at the controls so far. We're just- are we galloping? We're cantering, really. I'm not ready to go f faster. Okay. Okay. I'm, like, scared. This feels like a starter horse animation. You could feel the resistance. Like, on the keyboard. I know that sounds weird, but you actually can. We don't really have that in the new Star Stable games. Is that it? Okay. We're all very impressed. Dismount Starshine and come over here, Lisa. Um, okay. Do 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 Shut up. Why am I like this? <laughs> okay. I feel something bad is about to happen. Um, I don't feel so good. The white horse is indeed fast. Why do you say it like that? This is fantastic, Lisa. You and Starshine have not only earned a position at the school, but also a spot in the competition this weekend. And when you compete against Khan and me, this white cow won't look so fast. That is so rude. Shut up. What is wrong with Starshine? Look at him. Starshine is very nervous again, Lisa. You seem to be the only one who could calm him down. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, he just passed out. Oh no. Help me, Lisa. This is what I feared. Tell me what to do, Starshine. I'll do anything. I don't know, but I feel that you're the only one who could help me out in this mess. He does not look good. Oh boy. Starshine is hurt. Help me. Let's get this fine horse back to his box and I'll get the vet to look at him immediately. Bro, he literally passed out. Something's wrong. This is very troubling. I can't figure out the nature of his injury, but it's obvious that this horse is in pain. You surprised me today, Lisa. You could obviously reach Starshine in a way that I haven't seen anyone do in a long time. What do you mean, Mr. Herman? Some people say that there are special people who have been chosen to communicate with horses. Maybe you're one of these people. Some say that these people have other powers as well. Do you think I can help Starshine when the vet can't? Look inside yourself, Lisa, and maybe you can do something that we can't. Let me see, Starshine. I'm going to try something. It's so strange, Lisa. The darkness that is choking me almost disappeared. You're almost there. Don't give up. 
Sabine, go away! I can feel your powers, but it's not enough, Lisa. I'm about to kick Sabine off of Jorvik. Go away. Mr. Sands is so creepy. I'm sorry, Starshine. I can't do it. There's something I need to learn or find out if I'm going to be able to help you. I felt as I was close too, but I'm just too weak. Well, yeah, because Sabine, Sa Sabine, go away! This horse couldn't even manage a simple ride in the ring, and that is what you want the superior... And this is what you want the superior con in me to be competing against? Put him to sleep so this school won't have the embarrassment anymore? Sabine, shut up. That's out of the question, Sabine. I saw a wonderful horse out there earlier today, and we're going to take care of him, especially if he's hurt and needs help. Mr. Sands is so gross. He says, maybe I can offer a solution. I represent people who are interested in helping- Ah, uh, shut up. Shut up. I represent people who are interested in helping needy horses. I'm willing to pay you a handsome price for the poor horse, and you will break these girls' hearts by putting it to sleep. Bro. I'm sorry, Mr. Sands. I won't sell this horse, but I won't get rid of it either. Now I must ask you to leave. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Very well, your passion is commendable. I bid you a good day, but we will meet again. Is that a threat? <laughs> yeah, run away. Leave. Coward. Anyway. Is my phone ringing? It is. Wait. How do I open it? Okay, so I am back. And I found out that the reason why it wasn't working is because I don't have a mouse. I have a laptop, not a desktop computer with a mouse. So I got a mouse for my laptop and Eleanor Nightwalker let me know about that because I asked her and she told me I have to have a mouse and now it works. So now I can play the game. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the phone. And yes, hello. Hey Lisa, it's Linda. Come over to the library at school. I did some research and came across some very interesting things. The school library? Yeah. Okay, level two completed. 